In our ongoing training with multimeters, we have another example we're going to show you how to use a no meter part of a multimeter, and we're going to test some real world things here. These are all solenoids or mag switches that are on lift gates, and we can use our own meter and check the coils of them and also check make sure they're grounded. We have our meter set to ohms. If you look at the two smallest posts here, that is our coil. If we put our meter across it, we will check and see what the coil resistance is. With our meter leads connected, shows we have a resistance of 12.3 ohms. Now one thing gets people in trouble is if you don't know what the specs are, how do you know if this is good or bad? This particular solenoid has a spec that says 12.3 is in the good range, so I know it is a good coil. As well as one check to make sure it's not grounded. If I go on either post, go to the bracket, I should not get a reading. Go ahead and go to the other one as well. Again, should not get a reading. So the coil resistance is in spec, and also it is not a grounded coil, so I know that part of this mag switch is good. Why is it important to use a multimeter? If you use a multimeter and use the ohm meter, you can very accurately check the resistance of that coil and know the integrity of it. You've got to properly test it if it's in the proper working order because not only it can suffer, but also other components in that entire circuit or device can suffer because simply the resistance is not right.